Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and this YouTube channel is all about the preparation for the GMAT, SAT and the GRE exam. And the video for today focuses around the basics of algebra, uh, rather powers and exponents to be in particular. So in this question, we'll have to find the solution to this particular problem which is based on the concepts of exponents and powers. So here we have x raised to the power y plus 1 raised to the power y squared divided by y minus 1 raised to the power 1 minus 1 by y. So questions like these are often asked in your uh, preparatory exams, uh, the entrance exams of the GMAT, SAT and the GRE level and they're also useful for the maths olympiads. So let us start the solution. But before that, let's discuss quickly the uh, properties that would be used in this kind of problems right here. So for example, if I have a situation where if I write a to the power b to the power c then first of all this can be written as a raised to the power b multiplied by c the second property that we might use is if a raised to the power b plus c is given then this exponential equation can be written as a to the power b multiplied by a to the power c and same goes for if it is written as a raised to the power b minus c this can be written as a to the power b divided by a to the power c so in this particular problem we will be using the first property to be in particular because all the three powers are basically multiplied to each other so just for we'll just focus on the powers first so in the inner bracket we have y plus one then in the outer bracket we have y square divided by y minus one and in the outermost bracket we have one minus one divided by y so let us solve this so y plus 1 remains intact. This part here can be taken as y square divided by y minus 1 multiplied by, when we take the LCM of this part right here, this would be y minus 1 divided by y. So as you can see, I've applied the property to kind of ease out the powers so that they can be cancelled out or calculated. So y minus 1 and y minus 1 will get cancelled out this y will be cancelled out by this y square and finally we are left with y multiplied by y plus 1 and since in this question this is the final answer that we can expect out of this one so that means that this entire power should be raised to the power base as x so i will raise this as x to the power y multiplied by y plus 1 so this my friend right here is the final answer to this particular problem I hope that this video was informative enough and for more such videos on GMAT, SAT and GRE preparation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.